Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back out here to another video. And today, it's a little bit of an early morning, and uh, beans have ended up coming up now, so we need to get around to get started spraying for the season here. Uh, also, I forgot we did not come back and get the uh, get the new Freightliner we purchased last uh, last month. And uh, yeah, so we need to spray today. We got a little weedy beans. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna spray some fungicide on these on these beans here and uh, we're gonna do that I think that's what we're gonna do we have quite a few different fields to do today uh, I figured we may as well just spray them while they're still small so we don't have to deal with them in the future but anyway we're gonna go take the Chevy and uh, we're gonna head on over to the neighbor's house and uh, we're gonna go pick up our new Freightliner and with the trailer and then also we need to come down here and there's also I think a few fittings on this sprayer trailer that need to be fixed um, this trailer hasn't been used in a weird in a in a while, so some of the plumbing is a little out of date, and uh, we need to change some stuff on that. Put some new totes on there, and do some stuff like that. And then we have to run to the co-op and get chemical. Uh, I don't. It's uh, it's a herbicide, what we're spraying. And then later on, we will come back and spray some fertilizer on them, since we did not end up putting in hydrus down for corn. Uh, the corn's gonna need a bit more nitrogen, so we're gonna top dress that on. But anyway, we're gonna take the uh, Chevy, and uh, we're gonna head on over to the neighbor and pick up our uh, truck and uh, we're gonna come back here and get our stuff done well we're just now pulling on up to the neighbor's house here and uh, also that those beans actually look really clean I'm actually really surprised we probably better spray them anyway but those look really clean which I'm actually really surprised uh, I've no, I don't think I've ever saw beans that clean right off the bat but they look good I mean they're coming up good uh, the planter looks like it was planting good so I think we're good to go here and also I heard in the last video you guys wanted me to purchase this Dodge we will come back for this Dodge and uh, we will replace the uh, uh, the old OBS Ford and uh, we'll replace this or replace the Ford and we will purchase that Dodge for you since you guys were since you guys were wanting it so much so there's the dodge over there but anyway this is what we came for today is this freightliner with the jetco and uh we're gonna go ahead and crank this up and see if she starts it's kind of cold out come on come on come on there we go Alrighty. well we're gonna let this warm up for a minute and uh we're gonna take this on back to the house and uh, we will un have to unhook this jetco because this i think we'll use this for our spraying spraying rig for today since I think it'll work the best for it. Uh, it's got the Meteor tires on the back compared to the Peterbilt. But anyway, we're going to get this and uh, we're going to go ahead and head out here. And uh, we'll catch you when we get back to the house. Alrighty, well we just pulled on into the farm here. And uh, we're going to come down here and hook this trailer. And uh, we're going to switch and hook on to this uh, spray trailer. And uh, we're going to get this thing ran through and hooked on today. And uh, once we get it ran through, we can hopefully get to spraying. But we're just going to park this trailer up here somewhere. Get turned around down here. I never come down here because I never think to to park stuff. Uh, but we're going to turn this thing right back around here. We're going to get this thing unhooked and we're going to hook on the sprayer trailer. So we'll catch you here in a minute. Alrighty, well, we're going to get this thing hooked on real quick. And uh, we're going to run it back up to the farm. Or not the farm. We're going to run it back up to the shed and we're going to get it ran through. So we'll catch you here in a minute. Alrighty, well, we got her hooked on here. And uh, we're going to move this thing up by the shed here. Get all the pipes replaced that I needed to. And uh, then we're going to run on to the co-op here this morning. And uh, we're going to get the stuff changed on it that we need to and uh, we're gonna get it loaded with chemicals alrighty well that's a job done for today and we got that done now so now we are going to run on into the co-op here and fill this thing with chemical and uh, then we have to get the sprayer out we don't have to do anything to that which is good but anyway we're gonna run up to the co-op fill this thing with chemical and uh, we'll be back here in a minute well we're just now pulling on into the co-op here and uh, we're gonna get this thing filled and uh, we're gonna move on home and uh, we'll catch you we get that. Alrighty, well, we got 5,500 gallons of herbicide on there, and uh, I think that's gonna be way too much, but we're gonna, we're just gonna try that, and uh, we're gonna head on back to the farm here, and uh, we're gonna hope to get spraying as quickly as we can today, just because there's rain coming here in a little bit, which I'm trying to get as much of this on before it rains, because then we're gonna be out three or four days until we're able to run it back again, and then, uh, yeah, so we won't be able to run the sprayer for three to four, maybe even five days, depends on how much it dries, uh, because that rain will that rain will make it muddy, and uh, I don't want stuff tracking through my field, and uh, getting the, getting the sprayer stuck, which would not be a fun day. That would not at all. But anyway, we're gonna head on back here. Uh, we're gonna get this sprayer filled up, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and knock out a few acres today, and uh, see how far we get before the rain comes. But we'll catch you when we get there. Alrighty, well, we're back at the farm here. I'm going to pull on down here real quick. And uh, we're going to 
turn all the lights off, shut this off. And uh, now then, we gotta crank up this sprayer today. This is a new to us sprayer, never been used for us before. But I'm really looking forward to see how it's gonna run for us. It's got the hydrostatic transmission in it, and uh, it has the tablet up there for our field map, and also we have Green Star down there for GPS. And uh, but anyway, we're gonna come down here, hook onto this, or not hook onto it, but we'll fill this sprayer up with chemical, and uh, we're gonna go knock out some acres. Alrighty, well we got 1,300 gallons in this uh, sprayer here that we have, and uh, we're gonna come on in here and start on our first field. Let's go ahead and see here. Start getting our booms unfolded here. I think this has 90 foot booms. I better move away from that shed before I screw something up. But anyway, we're gonna get this thing unfolded here. I'm, thing's a lot wider than I thought it was. But anyway, we're gonna get this thing unfolded. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here on this this field, getting these beans sprayed. And uh, we'll catch you when we get done. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our first field done for the day, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get this sprayer on folded up here, and uh, we're just going to go right across the street here and do that little, like, 10 acres over there by the barn and stuff like that. That's about, eh, I don't know. We may go up and spray the ground up there by the neighbors. I'm, I'm still not sure yet. Depends on how much we have for the day. Because I've already used, let's see, I've already used probably 300 gallons of chemical already on that field. It was like 245 gallons an acre, I believe, something like that. I don't know what it was doing, but it was something similar to that. I forgot, we didn't put the magnum away. Let's see how this field's doing. It looks good, but I should probably go ahead and just spray it anyway, just because um, we need to probably spray it because there will be weeds if we don't. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing unfolded here. We're probably going to do another time lapse of this field here and get it knocked out. So we can move on to our big fields. And then once we get all of them sprayed, we should be good to go. But anyway, we're going to do that real quick. Uh, while this is unfolding, uh, let's see what else we got to do here. Probably move that magnum over the house. Yeah, we, we may as well just do that right now. Anyway, we're going to knock out this field real quick and uh, we'll catch you when we get done. Well, that's another field knocked out for us today, and uh, I think that I don't know how much more we're gonna do today. Um, but anyway, uh, we're gonna move on to our next fields, I think, and uh, we'll catch you when we get there. Anyway, I forgot to mention. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, anyway, I think that's gonna do it for the, today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and uh, we will catch you in the next. <laughs>